my wife and I live in a small house in a remote village. Night, silence, we sleep with my wife, we wake up from a loud sound, we didn't understand what it was, but both woke up abruptly with fright, we lie down, we are silent, we discuss in a whisper. I went round the house. Everything was quiet, there was no one in the fence, everything was in place at home, nothing fell. We fell asleep. After two hours, this time I already clearly heard the noise and knew approximately where it was coming from. My wife was in a panic, I went to the next room for reconnaissance, the noise was from there. And as soon as I was about to leave the room, I felt someone's eyes on me, someone's presence in the room. I looked around slowly, but no one was there. I feel cold on my legs, I thought the window was open, I need to close it. He came up and pushed back the curtains and I saw some old woman looking at me from the street with big white eyes, she looked so terrible as if she had died two months ago. From my cry, my wife screamed in the room and began to call me. I do not remember how I left the room and with wild balls rushed to my wife, trying to explain to her what I saw there. She is in tears from fear, I try to calm her down, but I myself am in a panic. After 10 minutes, we calmed down and I went to check around the house again, taking a hammer with me. I walked around the house, stood in the garden, smoked, I was cold all over, by the way it was in winter. I came to my wife, we sat discussing, and my wife asked me if I found traces there, it dawned on me, because under the window where she stood, there was not a single trace, and there were knee-deep snowdrifts. To make sure of this, we went to look out the tracks out the window, but found nothing there. I was at a loss. In the afternoon, we slept a little with her, because we didn't succeed at night, and now it's night again, we can't sleep anymore, we're sitting at the TV, everything is fine. And suddenly, the power goes out in the house, I went to check if the plugs were knocked out, but everything was in order there. I come into the room, my wife is sitting on the couch, I told her that everything is in order with the traffic jams and went to the kitchen for a flashlight and candles. I go into the kitchen and stumble upon my wife there, she was also looking for candles, I was taken aback. I didn't speak to her, I'm just thinking what to do, because in the room I clearly saw her, although there was no light, but she was here. I took a flashlight, she candles and went into the living room, I go and I'm afraid that there would be no one there, because if my wife sees someone, she might die, because her heart is sick. I abruptly opened the bedroom door, my wife was behind me, and oh my god! Exclamation mark. On the bed lay the same grandmother of a terrible appearance with a terrible look. We screamed in fright and ran back to the kitchen, turned on the light and started calling the police. But they didn't believe us. The hysteria continued for a long time, we were not up to sleep. I lay for a long time and thought about all this, and began to guess why we got this house so cheaply. The former owners knew, but did not tell us that such things were happening here. Most likely this is the ghost of a restless soul. Thank you for your attention. Subscribe to the channel.